today I'm going to be showing you how to draw an anthropomorphic fox. And keep in mind that this is my own style. You can do your own spin on this. You can, you can change it up a bit. My thing is not set in stone. This isn't like exactly how you have to do it. And please keep in mind that I am by no means a professional artist. I am a child on the internet. My my words not like oh you have to do this or you're a bad artist like no just this is mainly just like you can do this if you want to but I mean you don't have to follow the tutorial it's not set in stone. Now I'm going to start this off like I started off every drawing tutorial video I've done and say draw a circle for the head. Again, if you are in digital, do this on a separate layer, then you're going to do your line art. And if you're on paper, then do it in pencil. Next, put these little these lines in the head to help you figure out where the eye and snout should go and stuff. Next, draw the snout. You, I'd say the top of it should go a little bit above the horizontal line that you drew, and it can be long or short, whatever you want. Next, you want to draw the eye, and if you are doing it on digital, I recommend drawing the eye on a separate layer and then moving it onto the making. I recommend drawing it bigger on a different layer and then moving it onto the head and making it smaller and stuff because it's easier that way for me. Next, you want to draw a triangle on the top of the head for the ear, or you can draw it like more near the back of the head for a flattened ear. Now you want to draw a triangle at the tip of the snout for the nose. Now you want to draw the first body circle. Now you want to connect the head to the first body circle with a line for the neck, and then you want to draw two more lines that should curve towards the bottom for like the shape of the neck. If you want to draw a character with more of a chest, I'd recommend doing something like this to the sketch. Next, draw the second body circle. Make it smaller if you want the character to be skinny, but don't make it too small because otherwise that looks really, really weird and make it bigger if you want the character to be larger. Now you want to connect the two body circles with a line and then two lines going to like get the shape of the actual body. Now you want to draw a circle for kind of where the knee of the leg should be. Now you want to connect the leg to circle to the body again with a line and then two other lines to show the actual shape of the leg. Now you want to draw a circle for where the foot should be and unfortunately I can't show the entire drawing like from head to toe because it's because it just won't work I'm sorry. And again, you want to connect the foot to the leg circle with a line and then draw two other lines to, again, do the shape of the leg. Now you want to draw a circle for where the elbow should be for the arm. Then you want to draw a circle which will be the base for the hand. And now on to the fingers, which can be kind of difficult sometimes because fingers are weird. So, for the base of the fingers, you want to draw one thing, like, more on the side for the thumb. And then you want to draw a kind of curved shape coming off the hand for what will be the base for the other four fingers. And now you want to separate this oval shape coming off of the hand with three lines to make the four fingers. And now you want to go and connect everything up. You want to connect the hand to the arm circle and you want to connect the arm circle to the body and then draw lines to do the shape of the actual arm and now you want to draw the tail which you do a kind of curvy line and then you do two lines around it to do the shape of the tail. Now you want to turn down the opacity of the sketch if you're on paper then the sketch should then this step is unnecessary because the sketch should be done lightly in pencil. 
and now you want to do the liner and once again if you are on paper then I'd recommend you go over the liner firstly in darker pencil before you go on to actually inking it so if you make any mistakes the first time you can erase it and then just try to do that as best as you can in marker also I like to do the I outline in the color in like a darker version of the color that the eye will be which I actually got from someone else's style whose name I can't remember but I remember that they did do a Foxica series so if you ever do find someone who does that would who does that in a Foxica series then that's might be the person I was inspired by I don't know if anyone else does it just I never mind and finally, you want to get rid of the liner and color in the drawing. There you have it, a completed fox.